everyone. I hope everyone is having a blessed Saturday evening. Welcome back to our channel. Mike here from Team Mirror Adventures. So today we are making a, our fruit cake and a sponge cake. Because tomorrow we kind of kind of busy, so we don't have time tomorrow to bake. So we go bake it today. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I know a lot of people will start to bake tomorrow, get busy baking tomorrow. But we actually go bake ours today because tomorrow we don't have time to bake it tomorrow, so we do it today. So let me show you the ingredients I have here to do the fruit cake. I hope everyone is having a blessed and a safe Saturday evening. Uh, so here, four, five cup flour. I have six egg in here. And I'm doing it like back home, and you know, before you used to uh, back home, you bake one pound and everything. I'm doing it different this year. Six eggs, so I have six egg here. Four tablespoon uh, baking powder. Two tablespoon of nutten egg, grind nutten egg, and two tablespoon of cinnamon. And over here, the bowl is white; is not showing. I have um, two teaspoon canned starch. And over here, I have three and a quarter cup of butter, margarine butter. Right, and over here, I have the fruits over here, the grind fruits. I'll put like two cup and a half or maybe three cup in, uh, fruits inside and I also have some brown in I'll put inside also Alright, so I have the cake mixer here I'll put the butter in first with the sugar Alright, so we're going to drop the butter in here now Alright So I'll get the butter in there Oh, the sugar, I forgot to tell I have the sugar here this three and a half cup sugar here, brown sugar. I have it here. I'll put the sugar in now. So it depends how sweet you want it. If you don't want it too sweet, you can put less sugar. Okay, the fruit are also sweet already. So, but uh, most of the people who eat this cake, they like it, they like it sweet. So make it a little sweet. All right, so we put that on mixer here. Lock it down. You start it off a little slow, medium, not too fast. Uh, so I have the um, vanilla, I add the vanilla in. This is almond vanilla essence I'm using. So I'll add this in later on. So we can give it a little more speed now. So you want to get the button in the... In the uh, Sugar infused, nice and smooth texture before you add the egg. Uh, if you just scoop, turn the bottom a little. And I had everything room temperature, but somehow the butter was in the kitchen and the kitchen and still a little. Look at the hard speed now. So we're going to give it a little scoop on again. Okay, so that's the butter and the sugar there. Start getting um, nice and smooth. Once you get a little more smooth, then we can start adding the egg. So I slow the speed now, so I'll add the egg in one by one. So we're gonna kick it up a notch more. That's the um, I just had the egg in there now, so start getting smooth and nice here. Alright, so now see smooth and nice texture is good. Alright, so that's that's how you look now with the egg. Nice and smooth there. I've added all the baking powder, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, or just add it in the flour and then drop it inside the um, 
a great mixture. All right, so you add everything inside here. So we'll give this a mix and then we'll add it inside, you know. I mix up the baking powder, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the cornstarch. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I have to add the salt. So this recipe, the, the, the salt is optional, but I will still put like half teaspoon or a teaspoon of salt. You don't have to put the salt if you don't want to put the salt. This is optional. So you put like a teaspoon of salt, uh, Himalayan salt. And let's see, we can add the flour in little by little. We're going to add the fruit in first. I'm going to measure out the fruit. And this is grand fruit, dates, prawn, cherry. We add the fruit in. All right guys, so we're going to add the flour in now. I have, um, I add the fruits in. Let me show you what it looks like there. So this is, so I throw three cup of fruits in here guys. So I add the flour in now and the mixer is kind of small so I don't think I take all the flour, add some flour, I have to pour it out in the next basin, in the next bowl and then mix the rest up manually with my hand. So this will the fruits, three cup of fruits inside the mixed fruits. And then I will add um, one tablespoon of vanilla now. Okay, so I will put um, one teaspoon of vanilla, almond vanilla. Uh, so we add the flour in little by little. I don't think you take all of it. So you put the last of the flour there. So you hold it, I thought it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't fit inside when it fits. So. I have two paneer, one for the sponge cake, one for the, uh, the fruit cake, two nine, nine inch pan, nine and a half inch pan, square pan. So you pour the fruit in here. So let me show you look like in there. That's what it looks like this. So I'm adding some brown in the snow, some brown in, make it a little more brown. Alright, let me just get Alright. See? It's nice and smooth. Perfect texture there right now. So uh, add in the browning and then uh, mix it back again. Alright, so I have the browning here. So it depends on how dark you want it. I will put maybe like five tablespoons. I see what the call it is and then add it for if I need more. So that's one. That is two. Three. Four. That's four, so I'll put one more, five. That's what it looks like, that's the color. I don't want to make it more dark, but I think the best that should be good there. Eh? So I'll pour this out in the pan, and then we get started on the sponge cake, because I want to put both of them in the oven at the same time. I don't want to put one for it and put the other one after, because I don't want to open the oven twice, because when you open the oven, it collapses the cake. So I want to put both the sponge and the fruit cake at the same time in the oven. So we can pour this out, put this aside, and we can start get to work on the sponge cake. Okay, guys, so that's a small pan there, 8-inch pan. I have the big one over here. So we can put this aside now, and then we can get started to work on the sponge cake. So we can, we can put both in the oven at the same time. Okay, right, guys, so we can start on the sponge cake. Let me show you what I have for the ingredients. Four cup of flour, two tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of Grind up an egg and one teaspoon of cornstarch. And I have the butter here, a cup and a quarter butter. So that's the ingredients. And I have the um, egg over here. I have six eggs. And for the sponge cake, I have some coloring. I have green and red. So we got a couple of drop inside. Give it a little Christmas color. A little Christmas uh, fancy decoration. Right 
All right, so let's get the butter in there. I wash it, everything is washed, clean for the sponge cake. All right, so we put the butter in here now. I got two cups of sugar, same brown sugar. So this is one cup, two cups. We well, have to do drink a lot of bitter, <laughs> keep away the sweet. We plenty the bitter for the Christmas. That's uh, that's why you don't worry about uh, get diabetic. <laughs> Got a Carolina juice, cinnamon juice, buy it, drink it. You don't have to worry for the, uh, for the sugar. You just give it a little scoop, huh? Once well, that gets to the top, we get smooth and we go add the egg one by one. One, two, actually two pounds. Three. The last one. Now I've got uh, a teaspoon of almond essence. She started to get smooth and nice. Then we got our flour in. We got the dry ingredients. We got that in. So what I did, I add the um, baking powder, the cinnamon, the uh, nutmeg, the cornstarch, the salt. I add everything inside the flour and I mix it up. So I add this in, into the um, wet ingredients, the, the egg mixture, and the butter and sugar. Alright, so we add the flour in now. Alright, so we do. We drop some of the red flour in inside now. We we'll put a little green. So what you do now, I will put a couple of drops of the coloring at the bottom of the palm. And put a couple of drops of the red oil coloring. That's your red. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour like half of the butter inside. Then I'm going to drop some more coloring, then put the, the, uh, the rest of it on the top. Nice and uh, fancy for the Christmas. Uh, so we can put the rest of um, butter on top of this now. All right. Last one. Last finish is touch. Good copper drop at the top. All right, so that's finished. Both finish. you can put it in the new oven, 350 degree to bake for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes till you get nice and golden brown you stick it too quick, you come out, you don't, you don't paste up on it so let me show you what it looks like sponge cake so I decorated with the coloring so when you bake it now, you give it a nice design look like a uh, real Christmas alright, so now we gotta put it in the oven bake when it's finished, I'll show you guys what it looks like alright guys, so I just take the food cake and the sponge cake out of the stove and uh, I didn't video it, I cut it up already put it in a pan here I'll show you look like and you know everybody bake different. This is how I bake my fruit cake and uh, sponge cake. So that's the fruit cake there. The black cake, the fruit cake. And this is the sponge cake. It's not dense, it's see spongy and nice and you have the um, decoration I put with the little drops of the coloring and the sponge cake and that's a black cake. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hope you like this recipe. I do how I do it. I know everybody make it different, but that's how I do it. If you want to try this recipe, you can try it. Sort the ingredients you can leave out if you want, like the, the baking soda, you don't have to, that's optional. But the rest of the stuff you can, you, know, you can use inside. And I use less egg, six egg only, not a whole dozen egg. Less butter, less egg and everything. 
Uh, guys, so that's our food cake for um, I bake before Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I know everybody will bake tomorrow. But we bake ours today because tomorrow we gotta go out and we don't, we, don't, we don't have enough time to bake tomorrow. So we bake it today. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Please leave us a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, see you back Christmas. Good night, everyone.